Okay, so I'm just gonna do a quick intro before we get started. I am currently working with a health and fitness coach. This particular program has been designed for me so take everything with a grain of salt if you want to include some more workouts into you know what I do feel free to do so you can add more reps you can add more sets or you can lessen it tailor it to what you want and what you want to do at the gym that's fine okay <laughs> for some reason I had lost some of the clips I don't know what happened to them maybe I accidentally deleted them so I had to refilm some of the exercises that's why that is why i am wearing a different outfit in some of the days of you know the workouts it's just i don't know where i put those clips but yeah that's just a little bit of a heads up if you guys notice like a sudden change of you know scenery and a change of clothing that is why let's go to day one First off is scapular pull-ups. I like to do this before any kind of pull-up to kind of warm up my muscles. Okay, so these eccentric pull-ups are very intense. I'm not gonna lie, for me anyways, I struggle with completing some of the sets because it takes a lot out of me. But you just gotta make sure that when you're going down, it's very slow and controlled. Making sure that you're using those muscles. Keeping your whole body tight to maintain the control downwards. Cable face pulls. These are one of my favorite upper body exercises. It works out the upper back muscles as well as your shoulders. With this particular exercise, you gotta make sure that you're pulling towards your forehead. So the next exercise is a dumbbell bent over row. Please make sure that when you're doing this exercise that you're not bending your back too much and making sure that you're squeezing at the top of the exercise and feeling those back muscles. Push-ups. I have a love-hate relationship with this, I'm not gonna lie. I love it because it challenges my body and I love seeing the progress that I make. When you're performing this exercise, just make sure that everything is tight, keeping your core engaged. And you can modify this exercise by going on your knees so that's easier and just build up from there. I personally never used to work out my biceps until I started working with my coach. But it is pretty important to work out every muscle group as much as you can. So try incorporating some bicep curls into your workout. All right, leg day. I like to start off with some hip abduction to warm up, you know, the glutes. Okay, so with deadlifts, you've got to make sure that everything is tight. Your upper body is tight, your core is tight. And making sure that you're lifting from your heels so that you're maximizing the pull from your glutes and hamstrings. With squats, make sure that your core is engaged and pretend like you're just sitting down on a chair. Make sure that you have a neutral spine and get as low as you can. Driving through your heels to explode back up. Guys, literally look at my face. The struggle is real. So good mornings are a very good exercise to target the hamstrings. I love doing this because I really feel the stretch whenever I drive through my heels. I personally like to add a band as well because I feel like it adds resistance to the movements. Step ups are pretty challenging, I'm not gonna lie, because it gets you to really engage your core, making sure that you're stable throughout the whole movement and it really targets your glutes and your quads. This particular leg press machine kills my glutes every single time. I highly recommend it, you guys. I once again like to add a band because it creates a bit more resistance with the movements, which I like. 
I find that cable pull throughs are very similar to the good mornings because you still get the similar stretch from your hamstrings. I really like this because I feel it, I really feel it in the glutes, especially when I squeeze at the top. So usually I do have a band with me, but that day I did not have it. So I did eccentric pull-ups, but usually it would be banded pull-ups. Okay guys, so bench press is actually something that takes a lot of practice. I'm still working on it myself. So you just gotta play around with what feels comfortable to you. As of right now, I'm still working on my leg drive. I am not pushing from my legs. I'm literally pushing from my chest and my arms. I find that having an arch really helps with the push, so I highly recommend you guys trying to practice with having an arch. Guys, inverted hanging rows are honestly a really good exercise to help you build up certain muscle groups to improve your pull-up game. I find that kneeling overhead press is really beneficial for ab work as well as glutes because you're really focusing on stabilizing yourself and So with side raises, you got to make sure that your elbows are slightly bent and try not to swing your arms too much and make sure that the movements are very slow and controlled. Lately, I've been really trying to incorporate more warm-up exercises, especially before leg day, because I find that I actually get a better range of motion with my exercises, especially with squats. Like I feel like my hips aren't as tight, which is great, which is what you want. So I highly recommend it, you guys. Try to warm up if you can. I find that this particular exercise works your quads, your glutes, your core and your hamstrings all in one. Even your upper body because you're carrying the weight of the barbell. So very beneficial guys. I'm not gonna lie and I'm gonna say that this is probably my most disliked leg workout because it always kills me every single time. I find that I like using a dumbbell whenever I don't feel like using a barbell to do hip thrusts or if I forget my pad to support the bar. So I would actually recommend you guys trying this instead of just using the barbell to change it up a little bit. Guys, my sister hates the camera and I fully died when she came in because she's like, oh, nah, not again. <laughs> Seriously, let's just say that she is sick of me. And that is all for me, guys. I hope you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video bye